Kelly's court is back in session on the docket today. A 32-year-old man accusing his parents of not loving him enough as a child, so he's suing them for a hefty allowance. Bernard Bay is homeless and yet an aspiring record mogul. He blames his parents for his situation, saying they weren't loving or nurturing at all when he was a child. And now he's asking a judge to force them to pay up, claiming $200,000 should set things right. His mother says, Bernard, get a job, adding that she has had a lifetime of old Bernard and she's done. Can you really sue for this? Jonas Bilbour is a former prosecutor, now defense attorney. Julia Morrow is a former prosecutor, now defense attorney. So Bernard has come up with an interesting theory <laughs> about why he is homeless and why he claims all of his siblings are struggling too and it is all the parents fault julia can you make bernard's case i you know what megan i think i can i mean look in new york parents are obligated to support their minor children and treat them well and if they don't do it and while the child's still a minor the state can actually step in take action on behalf of that child and protect that child's rights but what happens when you have a case like this where it's an adult who's abused, and that lawsuit also alleges abuse, Megan. I mean, he, he verbally abused him, he beat him, the dad the did father, drugs yeah. in front of him. It wasn't just, you know, the lack of love. But, you know, now all of a sudden you've got a dysfunctional, damaged adult whose life is doomed. I mean, what is his recourse? And I'm going to say under these circumstances, it's a lawsuit such as this. I mean, conceptually, there's not much of a difference between the law protecting a child who's being abused and then the law providing a vehicle for an adult to vindicate abuse, which has basically led to a bad life on the part of that adult. So I think it's a legitimate lawsuit. Bernard could do no better than Julia in representation, <laughs> Jana. He could do... I've, yeah, I've, I yeah. could... Find the lawyer who can make the argument better than she just did. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. That was a great argument. But, you know, I, and I'm not one to judge because, look, if it weren't for unemployed boozers, my dating pool would get a whole lot smaller. <laughs> but, like, Is that an but, invitation? You want Bernard but, to call you? But No, no sorry. But listen, you, that does not give you the right to sue, to mooch off your mommy. This guy's not a child. And, Julie, you made a brilliant argument. But he's 32 years old. Get a job. Stop selling your T-shirts and start flipping burgers and do something to be productive in this society. <laughs> society because what he's doing right now is really a waste of time now it could get him his 15 minutes of fame because look this is a very interesting case my facebook page went nuts over it but he does not have a legal like the mother stand, came huh? out and said she's scared of him she said mm. go get a job he's never had a job a day in his life she said everyone in america has the same opportunity bernard don't blame your parents at this point the choice is yours you're an adult you can't have the courts clogged up with actions of, by children who think their parents weren't loving enough julia Right. Well, you know, what, Megan, that's a great point, and I had a feeling you were going to raise that. <laughs> that's one argument to make. However, look at, at the lawsuits people bring for, for car accidents and slip and falls. A lot of them are frivolous, and, and they're, they're bogus injuries, they're soft tissue injuries. They feel better in a couple of days, but yet they want to get paid. So they bring on these lawsuits, and the courts are responsible to weed through those types of lawsuits. So why not, you know, have lawsuits such as these? And, you know, the, the intra-family uh, immunity has been abolished in New York. And, you yeah, know, so it's a, a, a lawsuit of some claim. sort is potential. But, uh, John, what? let me ask you about exactly. the alleged abuse he claims. And, by the way, one of the siblings says he's a pathological liar. But he does now claim that his father was abusive toward him. Is that part actionable? Can, a, can an adult sue for that? You know, I want to say not anymore. Maybe when he was a child and the abuse was allegedly actually going on, then the Department of Social Services would step in. And we have agencies that handle that to come out however many years later and claim that you were abused. And now that's causing you not to be able to be employed is so far fetched. Unlike an accident case where you could physically have an injury and you have to decide who's liable. This is totally, totally different and not for nothing, Megan. But I threatened to move out of my parents' house when I was 18. And you know what they told me? They said, great, an early Christmas. So you can't, you can't. <laughs> That's what my mom said. She said the financial umbilical cord was getting cut. As soon Precisely. As I, well, graduated from college. She gave At me a couple 18. more years. Mm -hmm. All right, got to run, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be Thanks, right back. Thanks, Megan.